Well, let's just say to start that if you are one of the people that was saying that they're probably working on X-Wing 3.0, I have some news for you. You were wrong then, and you are officially wrong now. Um, hello, everybody. Thank you for the subs. Greg, what's up? JJ, what's up? Hello to everyone. Thank you to Dylan um, for posting about this in our Discord first. I have a meeting in about 35 minutes, so we'll be doing a shorter little stream talking about things, uh, sounding board stuff um, for you guys and just talking. Um, I'll upload this to YouTube later, so those of you that you know aren't subbed can't watch it back or miss part of it. Uh, it'll be up <coughs> late. <coughs> Excuse me, later today. Um, yeah, I mean, let's just dive into it. Uh, very short. As promised, they 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 kept telling people in the chat recently in their Twitch chat, we're gonna you know, be patient. We'll update you on X Wing. Here's the update. It's not very long, uh, which isn't good. <laughs> so. Uh, after long and careful consideration, we are here today to announce the end of development on Star Wars X-Wing and Star Wars Armada. We are grateful for the community's passionate engagement and support over the past few years. Rising production costs, global manufacturing, and pandemic-related challenges have made it increasingly difficult to produce high-quality pre-painted miniatures. Uh, you know, honestly, I emphasis on this part. I knew they would they would want to em emphasize pre-painted. They don't like that, uh, which ultimately led to the decision to end development. Although development is ending, we are not stepping away from these games entirely. Atomic Mass Games will continue to support tournaments and organize play for both games. They have to. They already announced OP support for it this year, at least. With OP kits to be found in your local shops, which this is interesting because it's it's June and I haven't heard anything about an OP kit for your game for your game store. But OK, uh, that could be something to look out for. Maybe culminating in the open world championship at Adepticon in March 2025. Thank you for continued support. And dedication all right so uh i mean the layman's terms x-wing is dead in terms of product development it's we've kind of felt that way for a while though is this really news like it's it's at least a relief to see this in front of me here from them saying x-wing is dead instead of them like dragging us along it's like i, I likened amg to uh to like that one that one person you meet you match with on a dating app that you like that is just so unresponsive but you keep talking to them anyways and like it takes them like weeks to get back to you and then you just feel strung along so that's this duh their support culminates at adepticon yeah what is so surprising is for over the overall parent group in last year's annual report manager gaming group yeah i know yeah yeah, but not all games, I guess, right? I'm going to do slow mode for a sec. Um, where is where is slow mode? I don't even know how to do slow mode. Do, is, it, is it slash slow mode? Slow duration? I don't know. 60 seconds? 30, 30, 10 seconds? I, I, I don't know. Five seconds? I, there we go. I'd like to see community-led X-Wing, but there is so much division. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know. Let me get some music going just to back. I feel like I'm. It's the silence is deafening. It's big news because point streams are no longer a thing. That is the thing, right? I think it's the biggest, the biggest news out of this besides the obvious is like, hey, like if you were holding out for like one more points change, you're not getting it. Which now my fear is like if, if they decide to go the community led route of like 2.5 community points adjustments, like who has the right to be the person to decide that? You know, I don't want Paul Heber to, to be the person to, I don't want a committee of like the crates and Paul Heber. Like I, I'm a little tired of a couple of people deciding that they're better than everyone else when it comes to like the game, you know, the, the game, the version of the game. So if there is some sort of community thing, I would want it to be a massive committee of people, like very large. That's inclusive of like more than the crates. Not to shit on the crates, even though it definitely sounds like I have some hate against the crates. I, I'm a, I, I like Chris Allen personally, like Chris is, Chris is a friend of mine, but you know, Like, let's, let's, if we're going to do that, we got to be more inclusive. 
I feel like even if production costs rose, they didn't even try raise, r raising the price of... Pr well, they did, though. They did. Asmodee raised the price of everything. I think it was like a 30% price increase, or, or maybe 15. I'm sorry. That's a, two massively different numbers. Are we getting music? I just don't hear the music. That's why. Can you hear the music? Can you hear the music? You guys can probably hear the music. I just can't. That's fine, as long as you guys can hear it. Oh, so it's playing music in the background. I just can't hear it right now. My, my, my headphones monitoring is, is off. Sometimes it just doesn't work. So, I mean, here's 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 the here's the reality. We figured this was the case. We kind of knew it was the case. Uh, this proves the pessimists. Correct? Like. I feel like here, 312, like, I tried to walk a line of being, like, very real with you guys about, like, hey, this, this, I mean, like, I have a lot of gripe, while also just being like, yo, until they say it, like, I'm just gonna, like, not be the main person that's like, the game is dead, the game is dead, the game is dead, just because of what we're trying to do here and trying to, like, grow a community, and that's an attempt at being a little bit more inclusive. We don't even cater to the people who are the kinds of people who are delusional about, you know, simping for amg though it's like that's not who i'm trying to cater to i'm just trying to cater to the people who are a little bit more optimistic in nature um and also the people who aren't because i i feel you i relate i've definitely talked my fair share for a while can i ask what this means for current 312 events the team league the team league just continues on being the you know with with the asby and launch bay whatever points they have according to what amg has given us is what we'll use for now and then we decide in the future if there's another large scale um approach to points changes and stuff by a community by the community i'm like in the chat right now then we can do that but the team league that doesn't really affect the team league at all to be honest i mean it's you know it went from no having no points change to having no points change so that doesn't change anything the July tournament was always going to be a community-led event, extended, using the points that are extended with community prizes. So we weren't expecting an OP kit for that. We, we're not going to have one. XVT will still be running events as long as people play. Yeah, that's the thing, is that y'all, like, here's the thing. People are like, people got to step up if they really want the community to lead this game, but y'all have to keep playing too, right? So, like, if you still love the like, we all still love the game. We're all upset and pissed off because we love the game don't quit out of spite that honestly kind of feeds into like what they would want like they're gonna be like you see people are quitting the game and not giving us money so you know um i get taking a break a lot of us have i haven't really played much in person x-wing i've probably played a few times in the past two months like total played you know on tts here with the team league which is easier when you're on your computer but like you guys you guys have to make the call right you've already bought all the product you can make the game what you want to make of it. Fuck them, right? You know, excuse my language, but we swear here. <laughs> uh, just, you know, make 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 the most of it. Um, bring your extended stuff. Maybe talk to your game store, like the people that play your game store. It's like, hey, like, what do you guys think if I tried to, like, pilot? Thank you for swearing. <laughs> you're, you're, you're fucking welcome. Uh, it try to pilot some some new points with your game store you know test some stuff out like who's stopping you right like nobody cares good for you that interview promised big things you know i gotta you know here's here's the here's the bottom line i'm gonna turn off the chat in in, in the overlay for a second the bottom line i might say the word bottom line a lot is that um amg is like the really shitty messenger that like nobody really likes and this isn't me absolving them of any blame because they're the studio. But as far as we know, like Schick during that interview, like before that interview was told to say that or was told that this is how things are going. I'm pretty sure as a game developer, you cannot be told game a game. You're planning to kill off a game or end development for a game. While they're working on it, like you have to you have to just tell them once you've made the decision and then tell AMG make this. This is the press release. I think it affects their work if they know there's no point or maybe, you know, like, let's say X-Wing is is Will's favorite game. I don't know this. I'm just making it up. Here's an example is Will's favorite game telling telling Will that the game is, is going to die or is going to be, you know, they're not going to develop it anymore. It's going to affect how he performs his job. So 
I yeah, I, I can't I can't look at the interviews that they did with us, they did with GSP at Worlds and be like, ah, they lied through their teeth. I they probably didn't even know they were if it we're gonna say they were lying, right? Like it still sucks. They make all the decisions. Well, wait, I mean that's that's probably not I don't know if I believe that, like now. Wade worked for F Wade worked for FFG, even though that was owned by Asmodee, so who knows? FFG is also bigger. And then they downsized and then they got rid of X Wing. So they did they did lie through their teeth. Well, I, I uh I'm I'm gonna be pointing more blame to Asmodee personally, but um Okay. I mean I don't like AMG, so I just, I guess, I guess personally, I just don't see the point in just like calling people. I just, I'm tired, I think is probably what it is. Like, I mean, we could definitely get the pitchforks and be mad. I mean, there's a lot to be mad about, but I'm also just exhausted, man. Maybe I'm just too tired to like be super angry, you know, but it's not going to affect my motivation to like stream X-Wing and run events and stuff. Like we're still going to keep doing that. I feel like it, on the Patreon side of things, we just like really hit a stride with like cool content like cool content and cards and stuff like that's not gonna stop it's like what sucks is that there's like only so there's if there's no new product there's no new cards to make and stuff right except for like battle over endor at least you know yeah ex exactly at least you know we don't have to wonder anymore exactly check your dms real quick Uh, do you want me to read this out loud? <laughs> I'm not going to read it. Yeah, I don't know that, that, that I don't, uh, that doesn't make any sense. Like here's 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 that doesn't make sense to me. It's like if you're if you're if you work if you're your boss, you're let's say you're in charge of making chocolate bars. And you work for a company that makes chocolate bars and you're owned by a big company that makes all this candy. And you're like, you know what? Corporate, I'm not making any more chocolate bars. Corporate's like, then you're fired because we're going to keep making chocolate bars. We own you. We uh, we make we're, we make all the candy. So I don't I don't get how you could have free reign to do whatever you want without consequence and not have corporate be able to just stop that from happening or at least fire the people who are trying to do that. I mean, it's just. <sighs> do I think there is a lot of arrogance with AMG, though? Uh, yes. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, arrogance. The, the every time they posted about something, the way they treated X-Wing players. All of that was just pretty unacceptable. I think they they kind of start off on the wrong foot with them um but they kind of like they they didn't really care about who we were as a community i feel like they're just like listen this is the mold of what we're doing this is this it's it's my it's my road it's my way or the highway right probably embra well embracer is selling asmodee there's a lot of like moving parts to this it's like yes amg bad this is bad but like you can't be like ah like asmodee has nothing to do with asmodee has nothing to do with embracer like you know it like the sales we 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 know that sales for most of amg's games most not all most are bad like and that and that that is amg's responsibility right Asmodee is responsible for what games that they, they run out there and manufacture. AMG is responsible for like shepherding those games and making them money, like developing them. I know I'm sounding like I'm mansplaining it. Disney oversight is, is a necessity ever since Lucasfilm Unlimited, you know, lim or Lucasfilm Limited um, LFL has existed. My mom worked for Lucasfilm and worked with, Mark, with uh, licensing folks when Lucas owned Lucasfilm. That's always been the case with with licensing out stuff to Lego, you know, to all the other companies that had, you know, Star Wars. 
stuff. Going forward, is it feasible for each community to create their own points update to keep their gifts? It would just be like, the question is, how would you, you would need a builder, like to give somebody a spreadsheet or a documents that are like, here are all the points. I mean, it's possible, but it would just be way easier to integrate it into a builder. Like if there was a way that I could import different points from like a community led effort, then I would be in. If somebody wants to partner with me or Greg or both of us, or, you know, I don't want to speak for you, Greg, to do that great if that's possible but it would have to be integratable into yasby or something yeah he's and he's already doing that all for free right so it's not really a reasonable request to do for rathos other thing is that reprints are no longer a thing yeah that was another thing i feel like that one of the first like pebbles to fall to start the avalanche is uh when um they canceled reprints for like this was a long time ago um but there was supposed to be black box reprints of like saws renegades and stuff and i think this was either during the transition or right before the transition to amg but they canceled some reprints of stuff that was like pseudo 1.0 2.0 and they're like ah that wasn't a big deal, but I was just like, oh, that's interesting. Like, they weren't willing to do reprints, reprints then, and that was early on, long time ago. Start of COVID, yeah. Which FFG had had control over X-Wing through 2020. Oh, reprints. You just mean reprints in general, not like reprint reprints. No, literal reprints. I don't know how much we can accomplish with GSP. They've generally been pro AMG through the whole thing where they even want to change points. Well, they've been pro AMG because they were trying to like be able to to be like the official, you know, be be, be a partner of AMG to stream X-Wing. So I, if there was no other stream that could be that partner, Greg, Greg and I are like way too real, too honest and too silly and goofy and crazy to be able to, to sniff a chance at that and or a, a, a gsp was only ever the one that could do it they've always been more family friendly and more button up even before amg took over this is since like the beginning of gsp so i don't have anything bad to say about gsp gsp is a part of my fam so i'm technically still a part of gsp in a way i have my jersey in the closet over here from worlds so but they were more pro amg like i feel like they they felt like they needed to be though so but they were. That's fine. I agree with that. Speak of Marcellity shows. Yeah, I don't know. I think I think I don't know what the point of having this conversation about GSP being pro AMG. I don't yeah, I'm not Marcel definitely never seemed like someone who really was a big fan. I think Ryan, Ryan and James were like, you know, just trying to do their part and just being positive. Dion has been more hands off, but obviously Dion's going to do the same thing. He's in charge of the whole thing. I was hoping that in the works comment by Schick was that X would continue as unpainted, unbilt new product. That would be wild. That would be such a departure for what we're used to, but it would be a thing. But yeah, no, I guess not. I'm scrolling up through the chat because I know I missed some things. I don't think the game needed more ships. Constantly on, on eBay and Facebook groups, people are selling suitcases full of ships. Yeah, honestly, I think we just needed like card packs, maybe a new scenario and everything. Um, but we won't be getting new scenarios. So the scenario die lives. It lives, the scenario die. It lives, yes. Get ready for the market to be flooded. I never got the sense GSP was ever pro or anti any company, only pro or anti related directly to rules changes in the impact. I love you guys, Nega. Look forward to seeing you in July. Love you too, Matt. I hope you enjoy the team league for what it is for you. And I'll see you, see you soon for our tournament, dude. And um, speaking of, if anybody is in the Chicagoland area, we do have a tournament we're hosting on July 13th. It's going to be extended with some cool community prizes. Yeah, card packs would have been all exactly. I agree with that for sure. Absolutely. Just 
come back here for those in case that in case you missed it man the feeling that i had like reading this like it, it, my heart sunk a little bit like i never thought i'd like you know i never thought they'd actually say it but they did so i don't know what the fallout's gonna be but again i do plead with y'all to like you know sign up for the next draft league um watch watch the streams you know like we're, like more and more i think you're gonna see more and more in fun interesting weird matchups with different you know unique ships more extended because people are just so tired of of triple arcs and you know jed and soon tier stuff not if they're yeah, I mean, people are sliding into my DMs. Uh, let's see, Chris just shared something from Asmodee. Thanks, Chris. So let's pull that up. Go over to Discord. I'll pull this over here. We would like to take a moment to express our heartfelt appreciation to the Star Wars X-Wing and Star Wars Armada communities. While development of these games is ending and will have a limited quantity of product available for purchase while supplies last, the adventure is far from over. We're here to support Atomic Mass Games through a farewell tour culminating in the Open Worlds Championships. Oh, so this is going to be the last year as well for X-Wing? Farewell tour. Oh my god. Fantastic for fans to enjoy these games to the fullest with our full support every step of the way. But that's not all. Our dedication to the Star Wars galaxy remains stronger than ever. Sure, sure, stronger than ever before while we're cutting our games. We are thrilled to bring you new adventures with, with ongoing expansions developments in both Star Wars Shatter, but fuck off, man. It's like you, 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 you spend half of this short statement talking about how bad you feel about x-wing mention a farewell tour be like by the way this is the last year of op support for the game farewell tour enjoy the game while it lasts and by the way don't fear the games that you don't play or don't care as much about or don't want to buy into we're making expansions for them though don't you worry god oh man What did you say, Noah? I'll read that in a second. <sighs> la 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 la. I mean, so here's here's the deal. Here, right? T rough timeline of events. COVID hits, all gaming, up up in the air, alarm bells. Game is saved through online play, thanks to like Nickel City, GSP, Hexiled, Firecast, SHG, to name a, a few. Sith Takers, all of those folks. Cool. FFG still pays attention to the game, still makes a points change in 2020, and then Asmodee restructures, lays off a bunch of people from FFG. All right, it's like, all right, FFG, you guys are just going to do card games and board games. All tabletop gaming goes to AMG. AMG is like, great. Thanks. Here's here's a points change for 2.0. And then they're like, by the way, we're changing the game. Everyone gets mad. They're like, yeah, we're changing the game. You know, road roll. Everyone free loses their mind scenarios. Everyone's like, what the hell? New obstacle rules, blah, 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 blah. They don't tease. The, the list building changes, though, the, the, the completely new structure of list building, which I still still was such a horrible thing to omit. It's like, oh, and by the way, fundamentally, the game is different through list building. The list building is, is much worse in 2.5 than 2.0. I, I know Andrew from our crew thinks he has more fun, says he has more fun doing list building in 2.5. It's just worse for balancing. It's bad. It's it's just not as good. I, I would much rather have to weigh the decision of putting upgrades on certain pilots for the overall balance of things like the, the getting you could have had a way to coexist scenarios which i actually do like having scenarios in a list building structure that is similar to the 200 point or is just the 200 point structure because man like i could live with a meta that is 
pointed out to for 200 points where upgrades cost whatever because that gets less stale that gets stale less fast than what we have now it is what it is though didn't like it we're stuck with it maybe we're not but we're stuck with it and then adepticon 2022 they roll out the, the you know 155 guinea pigs show up to, to to demo the game it was awful it was really bad it was just it was bad simply put it half the half half the people had no fun at all 25 percent were very mixed and then 25 percent of the people who just steamrolled people with with super obvious cheese were enjoying it right next the following year that was the last year before it became worlds 2023 2023 worlds was pretty successful the game was in a decent place whatever and then that's when we start seeing all these expansions come out um, Siege of Coruscant, Battle of Yavin, Siege of Coruscant, and now Battle of Endor. The push for standardized play becomes a big thing. Um, and, and the common themes are uh, efficiency, hyper-efficiency, extra health, cheap, high initiative. Um, Battle of Yavin was somewhat balanced with that stuff. Not too much of it, some of it, not too much. And then Siege of Coruscant really, really was a kick in the gut when it comes to the health of the game. Um, Republic mainly. Too cheap, too healthy, double, triple mods, sharing tokens, just kind of never ending design flaws. And then Battle Over Endor has a mixture of 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 just ridiculously too good uh, to, to middling. Um, but through all three, we see we see just lazy design issues. A battle over Endor, the B-Wings are the best example of just really shitty designed pilots for a meta. I'm there right now and they're watching the stream on the big screen. Most are laughing while painting Shatterpoint and the one guy's crying. Oh no, wait, he's crying from joy. He's laughing. Just a blind eye to sequel factions, scum, just never getting anything at all. Like, it, 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 they, they will say there was an attempt. We tried. And then you look at stuff and it's like, guys, like, this is this is like, did you play test any of this stuff, man? There's play test for credit, but it's oh, man, I don't know. I, I I miss the days where in X-Wing, you had to take a target lock or you took a focus and you dealt with you just faced the consequences of making that decision. In a lot of cases, it's like it doesn't matter. I'll do whatever I want. I get everything I need anyways. So, Reg messaged me. <sighs> Not balanced. And it's like, people would be like, well, like, st stop your whining. It's like, no, we've never had this before, guys. Like, stop. Stop thinking that it's okay that this shit exists. It's not it's not it's not fair to the game that like six factions don't get triple modded juke pro torp extra health B wings that can drop bombs anywhere. And and uh, it's just I mean, wow. On one hand, I'm like, I can't believe I'm complaining about B wings, right? Who, who never thought I'd see that day. I'm just glad it's got it on top. But yeah, I don't want to I don't want to I don't want to talk too much in circles here. Overall, though, I think I would hope that a, a lot of you would agree. That FFG was a, is a much better uh, we missed Fantasy Flight Games. Thank you, Fantasy Flight Games for for creating and, and 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 giving us this game. We do appreciate everything that you've done for us you weren't perfect but man did you fucking care were you passionate did you pay attention to the game were you there to talk about the game did you have articles released before new expansions did you have streams based on the points updates instead of casually mentioning when it'll come out in a facebook dm and then posting it early instead of just telling people when to expect it ffg we, we 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 appreciate you, FFG. Fantasy Flight Games, long live Fantasy Flight Games. Thank you so much, Fantasy Flight Games, for creating the game of X-Wing that we love. 
Atomic Mass Games never really it wasn't their baby and they they like they like beer and pretzel casual casual paint paint you know at your home your dinner table vibes and X-Wing X-Wing was more than that right X-Wing was was it started as casual and then Fantasy Flight Games saw it blossom into a competitive game as well and we're all here to play competitively but we still have fun doing it and 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 AMG doesn't really like that like they you know they're not competitive people competitive minded in that regard and so in the whole catalog of star wars games they lose they lose two competitive the only competitive real, real competitive star wars game that amg has left is legion shatterpoint i mean shatterpoint is a pvp game but like it's it's just not the same you know oh <sighs> So, again, before we wrap up here, guys, I, I just I hope that you all take some time, decide how you how you want to be a part of the community, because honestly, I mean, we're going to need you right at least here. Um, like we'll need you. We hope that you guys stick around for those who are subscribed to the channel here um, or are even a patron like we're we're not like this doesn't stop us from doing any like nothing's going to really change at all in that regard you're still going to get taken care of we're still going to have content still going to make stuff for you guys still run leagues so <sighs> thank you ffg it was uh you know what would what would what overall rating for amg's handling of x-wing um before today five it's, it's pretty gracious four or five before today officially now it's like it's like a zero obviously but if you could give a negative score we would the nice thing is as a community we can form together and make our own rules and create yeah but it needs to be like it needs to be consistent if everyone's going to try to do something else it's going to be super confusing do you think it'll be tougher to do a podcast on the regular? We've already kind of not we've kind of stopped doing two a month. We'll probably do once a month and we'll we'll talk about we'll we'll talk about X Wing and we'll talk about, you know, we'll 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 sprinkle in some other stuff that you guys will enjoy. AMG before today, three out of ten, today zero out of ten, indeed. We need a unified group for all the streamers. Yep. For now, I'm just gonna focus on team league stuff and then bigger picture the rest of the year we can see how I can fit into the puzzle of keeping the game going, right? We don't have any GTs to stream because they didn't give any to us in the Midwest. All right. Well, we'll be back on Sunday. Oh, hold on. Here, this is for you guys. Uh... <laughs> Greg says you were showing DMs on Discord, so... <laughs> there you go. Bullshit. <laughs> uh. All right, everybody. Uh, it's it's okay to be angry. Just uh, you know, I guess be civil. Shut down anybody that's trying to say AMG never did anything wrong. They did. We'll, we'll be back Sunday, three games of Team League X-Wing as planned, including an XVT final for the final game at 8 o'clock Central. Uh, I'm going to try to finish the work day, try to get some nice fresh air, relax. You guys should do the same. 